the secrets of the power of the Lord, the mighty one and power of the Lord, possess the ultimate battle system power of the Lord. Near early in the Zimbabwean, the power of the Lord are able to morph together to form even stronger combinations. When all of the power of the Lord forces, they become the awesomely powerful Ninja Ultra Lord or the Shogun Ultra Lord. The ultimate battle machine, nothing can stand up to the Ultra Lord. Listen up, mammals. Dino Bot here, you're watching Jasmus Rider video reviews. And you will enjoy it the old fashioned way. Totally! Welcome to the review for the Season 3 Shogun Megazord, or the Invincible Shogun from. Ninja Sentai Kaku Ranger. Here we have the five Shogun Zords. Black Shogun Zord or or Black Gamma. Red Shogun Zord or Red Sh Sarunda. Blue Shogun Zord or Blue Logan. Pink Shogun Zord or White Kark. And Yellow Shogun Zord or Blue Kamard. Right, I'm going to show these two off first so let's get to that part these two are, form the legs of the Shogun Megazord or the Invincible Shogun they're pretty much remodes upon themselves you've got chrome here, different shapes the body wise is different as you can see we've got like the symbol for for black sh Shogun Zord here, we've got the symbol down there again we got these bits here and they're remolded but the feet are the same at the end of the day. The heads are different, we got this bear like design, then we have this like weird like um I, I don't know if you can see that. Weird like um can't even call it a frog motif. I don't know, but that's it. Um they come with these red weapons, articulation, both of them are the same, full three sixty arms and upper bicep. I'm going to do the transformation to their limbs together so it gets so it gets um, out the way and over and done with. So pretty much what we want to do is take out the weapons and pretty much pull, push back open chest, fold arms in because they're on these hinge joints up lock into place up uh, and slide into place same here fold back fold up up in up up so that's the feet well they're the feet so let's put them off let's get on to the next two shall we Yet again, they're remodes of each other. Like it has like the um, differences on um, on black and yellow. The chests are different. The skirt guards are different. The heads are different, and the legs are the same. But one's for opposite arms. I haven't got the weapons for this guy, but I've got the weapon for him. And let's do the transformation to the arms because they're really not much. They're pretty much the same. Got the same details and everything. And really nice, we've got the chrome, we've got the chrome everywhere on the figures that they should be apart from the kneecaps. But really it's the same thing, we've got a wolf head, we've got a crane type motif head. But that's alright, this is what, what it is, Look, this is what it looks like. Um, there's not much to do and everything because um, this is my second take, completely second date redo. Because I accidentally re over the original footage that I shouldn't have done while editing the the review and everything so I decided to retake the whole thing because it was too long anyway so that's why we haven't got the wrist swivel on either one we have got this nice motif around here and we've got the nice details around here as well so pretty much you want to lift up the arms push them down lift up the arms push them down and fold the legs up as you can see fold them up and it locks into place so we've got that the same for pink lift slide down lift slide down fold leg up and there we have let's go on to red 
So here we have Red. Um, I'm going in more depth detail with Red because he's actually the one different out of the lot. As you can see, he is red. As you can see, they're red. They're all of their um, correspondent colours apart from pink because the get footage for Ultra Zord is the toy and the rest of the footage is the Kaka Ranger Megazord sequence. But let's get to red. We've got the nice feet motif, a really nice motif around the legs. Really nicely done. We've got these nice stickers around here. We've got this nice chrome sticker here, but it's painted silver on the sides here. A really reflective silver. Like dull but really reflective chrome silver paint all the way across it because I can see my finger pointed on the silver paint so it's got this really nice chrome but dull chrome paint job. Um we got the we've got this nice banner around here. This is meant to represent a monkey, I think. I don't know. I don't know what a Sharunda is. Please tell me what a Sharunda is. If that's even how I'm pronouncing it, because I memorized the names of the Japanese of these guys. We got same articulation on both of the, of the legs on him, and the bicep swivel, nice chrome, nice thing. Thing that I stored on the back is the helmet, and it does come with the shield. Differences is pretty much just becomes one rounded circle. And this is pretty much now not um, a standard shield. That is pretty much a blade thingy. That's it, the shape of. But who cares? So let's get to the transformation. What you want to do is fold back the arms. Bring that out. Take the helmet out. Fold legs. Put them in. Get the front of the skirt guard. Press it in. Rotate the leg up and rotate the other leg up until it all locks into place make sure that's in and here we have the main the main torso so let's get to the combination sequence you need the legs and then you want to these little clips here will clip on these sides and cover up the face that's good and do the same here Get the arm, peg it in. Get the other arm, peg um, it in. so you peg them on the sides. And then you want to get the helmet here, unfold it. There's this little tab, and there's a little hole on the back. You want to slide that in, and then just press that down. And here we have. The Shogun Megazord or the Invincible Die Shogun. Motif or base, what this Zord is based on is a building, as you can see, because we've got like a roof arch here, we've got windows all across the figure. Detail wise, it's pretty much the same detail that we've got individually, but they're now transformed to form this like motif. Differences we've got lightning bolts instead of those weird fish designs on the side of our stickers, and that's pretty much it. Articulation is pretty much thus. And that's pretty much it really for the Shogun Megazord, not much to say, not much to tell really, I pretty much rushed this because I wanted to get it out there to you guys, and um, because I lost my original footage and stuff like that, I couldn't, I wanted, so I decided to redo the footage, um, so here's the new footage, hopefully it's not too rushed, if it is, let me know, I'll probably try to edit the final version again, but at the end, this is a nice version of the toy, this is a very nice representation. Great if you already have the Ultra Zord to make the old, uh, Mega Mega Shogun Zord Ultra Mega Ultra Mega Falcon Ultra Mega Shogun Zord. That's the word. And like I said, if you've got the spare Fire Sword that this guy should have, please let me know. Mail me in comments, or not comments. Um. PMs and we can sort something out a little bit because I'm trying to complete most of my Zords because a lot of my Zords are second hand I'm trying to get the missing parts for them and I'm looking on eBay and stuff like that and they're going for such ridiculous prices that I, I really want I want to try to complete my um, Tiger Zord because it's all it's missing all four of the gems and it's sword and the f um, red firebird feet and everything like that and I'm missing the tip, the cannons, the horns and the chrome blaster of the triceratops 
and the tail for the Transaurus. I'm missing the crotch piece and the handle and the tip of the Dragon Zord. Well, the staff bit for the Dragon Zord. And I really want something like, and I really want to try and complete these guys. So, like I said, if you've got any of those pieces, hit me up on YouTube Mail. Um, I might stop making forums and stuff like that dedicated to um, Transformers, Power Rangers, Karma Rider, so you guys can check it out and stuff like that. But at the moment, I don't know a great host, well, third party host site, so let me know which is a great forum host site to use and um, and I'll come back to you when it's done so I'll see you next time for another Power Rangers review this has been Jasmus Rider and I'll see you then bye bye for now